Oh my goodness. We need our life count. Yeah, we do. We do. Because it's also our, uh, our die roll. I am... No, no, no. I want to do this first. <laughs> I want to see if it keeps your streak going. <laughs> I, I do. Nope. Okay, okay. And it probably would have worked for me anyway. We'll see, though. Oh, okay. We tie. This is the just because bracket. Okay. All right. Cool. Oh, so I'll be on the play, of course. In case there was any doubt. I will keep this. Um, likewise. So I'll start off. I have Leyline of Sanctity and Leyline of Anticipation to boot. What's the anticipation? I all my stuff is flash. All okay. my non lands have flash, basically. Okay. All right. Cool. Let me get started. We will do a hmm. How about a Saris Sanctum makes double white. We're going to. Not do anything with that right now. Hmm. And we're going to pass the turn. Yeah. Buy you. Mm hmm. Sentinel. Okay, cool. Go ahead. Enlightened Tutor. Goes and gets an artifact or enchantment, puts it on top of my deck. Now, oddly enough, we're not getting what this deck usually goes for right off the bat. We are getting a suppression field. Okay. Interestingly enough, I suppose. What is my yard? Activated abilities cost two more, unless they're mana abilities. Okay. Cool. Okay. Ta-da! Goes on top. First let me shuffle. Then let you cut. Ta-da! There's my draw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right, so two mm -hmm. suppression field, da da. Oh, I thought that was three jobs. <laughs> and then we'll play a gemstone mine. Makes any color mana, but only three times. And then pass the turn. Yeah, so obviously you're not targeting me. That's not a thing in this match. Yeah. At least not in game one. Oh, poor fetch land. <laughs> Suppression field 2 OP. Yeah, for future reference, if you see someone start off playing a bunch of ley lines against you, play the fetch lands first. <laughs> That's why. I did that kind of backwards. Oh, well. Too it's hard. okay. You didn't know. I don't blame you for not knowing. This isn't no, exactly... No, not that. I should have attacked and then played. Oh, okay. You want to... Because I couldn't play a second one. Yeah, swing so swing for, for two. 18. Yeah. M main two, Heritage Druid, untap Nettle. All right. Da -da. Okay. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, um... This is so stupid. Idyllic Tutor? We're going to get an enchantment, reveal that out of my hand. It is the enchantment, the one and only, Obalescence. What's that? It makes every other enchantment I control turn into a creature oh, okay. CMC. It power toughness equal to a CMC. So, yeah. Ta da! But this one actually goes to hand. You can cut if you want. Cool. Hmm. I think I do actually want to do it now. Yeah, we're going to do it now. Crop rotation. Put me to 17. Rotate into... This is the dumbest deck. This is the dumbest deck. This is the... The 
dumbest deck. Sarah Sanctum, Legend Rule. Tap both of them. Opalescence. Each other non aura enchantment. Yeah, I didn't know that, but where's the fourth mana coming from? Oh, uh, gemstone mine. One, two, three, and then the gemstone mine. This makes one for each enchantment I control. Oh, you t you said it only made two white. At the time it did. At the time I had two enchantments. Okay, that's where I got lost. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, cool. So... Mm. How are you at 17? Uh, you hit me with the Nettle Sentinel for two, and Horizon Canopy, unfortunately, if you use it for mana, it oh, okay. pokes you. Uh, so yeah, that that's the problem. But I'm swinging at you for eight. Sure, I'll take it. Blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> and then I'll pass the turn. That's the sound that thing makes. Blah, 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 blah. I, I pressed it too many times. That's all. This deck automatically makes me sillier. With the possible exception of Army of the Dredge, this might be the most fun deck I play. Certainly not the best, though. No one's concerned. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. This is me not blaming you at all. So that's how this deck does its thing. S crazily. Silly. All right. Boink. <laughs> Here we go. Easy peasy, your hand was on the bottom. I was on the play. Alright. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Well, this is a thing. Okay. Cool. See what six and a half grants you, my friend. If you don't mind my asking, was it just a, a one lander that could have gone awry? No, it's four lands. Mm. Two creatures. And then glimpse. No. Yeah, well, yeah, then you probably do shove it. Yeah. If the one other card is glimpse, maybe, because you could possibly draw yourself out of it. And it's probably better than going to six, but one of the good things about the Vancouver Mulligan is that it incentivizes you to drop the risky hands. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, it also incentivizes you to keep the risky six because you get that half card of information, as I like to think of it. Alright. Hey. Hey. Hey! Alright. Well, that worked. I was trying to slot them, you know, in. Did not work out. Alright, there we go. Close enough. Let's see what you got. Yeah, I think this I can keep. All right. Um. Wee! Wee! Okay, now you may go. What's the red one? Creatures can't be countered. Players can't gain life. Damage can't be prevented. You know have grave. <laughs> That's basically what it amounts to. Okay. Alright. You know have grave. Why you know have grave? Oh. Shit. Oh. Oh, I kind of somewhat misplayed, so I'm gonna have to do it now. Anyway. You wanna do the fetch land instead? Green Sun Zero. Okay, yep. <laughs> Green Sun Zero. I like that. 
I, like, I'm gonna have to copyright, or I'm gonna just steal that. Alright, get that dryad, yep. Hi, dryad arbor. Alright. I remember going into an earthbound trading company, and they would... I don't know, something like the $15 little balls with bells inside of them that you basically do this balls. with. Meditation Oh, okay. Japanese meditation balls. Or Chinese. I thought it was one of those, like, you, you do it for, ther not for therapy, but like, yeah, if you have a hand condition. No, med meditation balls. Alright. Alright. Good. Here we go. Top deck of nope. Okay. Top deck of nope. In that case... We're just gonna say gemstone on three and pass turn. <laughs> resolves. Spoiler alert, everything resolves. I wish for sure. <laughs> now you <Yeah>. Lanamore elves. <laughs> Little world. Wrong one. Go ahead. I was like, wait a minute. Too many elves. <laughs> Too many elves. Too many elves. Alright, we are just gonna sack the canopy to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. You can go to two gems. Pastor? <laughs> two gems left. There's my new uh, band, Run the Gems. I don't know if you listen to Run the Jewels, but I'm a fan. Ooh. Um, swing for two. Arr! Uh, second main? Mm-hmm. I'm assuming there's a visionary in there somewhere. Yeah, visionary. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> the Freudian slip has resolved itself. Um. Pastor. Okay. Um. Sure. Sarah Sanctum. Makes four mana. Mm -hmm. Ghostly prison. You know what that does. It mm -hmm. taxes your creatures to attack me. Okay. Alright. Cool. And pass turn. I have an idea for a silly, silly play, but we'll see. Glimpse. Probably should have been a bit more proactive about this, now that I think about it, in hindsight. But it's okay. Glim I mean, it, it, everything resolved. I was just thinking mm -hmm. about something in my hand. Cairn. Okay. Glimpser. Yep. Uh, Arwood. Yep. Glimpser. Woo! Um, Cairn activation? Mm hmm. Turn. Untap, Untap Glenmore Elves? Sure. Um, it's like gush for elves. Warwood. Okay. Glimpsher. Um, Warwood Drew. Mm hmm. Or activation. Uh, bounce on top. Mm hmm. Karen. Okay. Uh, 
Ninja. Yeah, I'm not entirely... You did draw off both your wire bits and yeah. right? Okay. Those two have been used. Okay. Um... Use this one. Mm-hmm. Bounce. And tap. Float one. All right. Visionary. Visionary. Vision is scary. Draw two. Start a revolution, polluting the airways. A rebel. Okay, um, that's enough. Uh, Symbiote, return visionary, untap elves. Lanoir elves. Tap. As long as we draw all the cards off our glimpse. One green floating. And options. <laughs> oh, that's a good problem to have. That'll work. Alright. Draw. Alright. Okay, turns over. And, well, <laughs> not quite, because oh, at the end of turn, turn, yeah, end of your turn, we're going to crop rotate the gemstone mine. The tabernacle at Pendrel Vale. Did you do that off the last one? Oh, no, there was one left. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't remember. Yeah, I'd only used it twice. Once for highs and canopy, and once just then. Right. So, don't worry. It was still around to be yeah. used for crop rotation. That is one of the downsides what to using gems. It says, destroy target elves player. It puts a, a one-mana upkeep on all of your creatures. Yeah. Yeah. Destroy target. I need that as flavor text. Um, draw. Mm -hmm. um, serum powder. Two still floating. Not that I'm going to use it for anything, but... What's that powder do? It just makes one mana. Oh. But uh, after mulligans, that's all that it does. During mulligans, it gives me a free mulligan by exiling a hand that has a serum powder in it. Oh. Um, when your deck is playing serum powder, it is doing something degenerate. Um, pass turn. Alright, so on your upkeep, Ooh. pay one mana for every creature you want to keep. Well, at the end of your... Some... Yeah, we can bounce mm. stuff with wirewood to get them, to save them. Yeah, this, this YouTube is essentially a casual playtesting session. I'm not playing to win, so I don't mind telling my opponent a line. Bounced on top. No, bounce an elf. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid Wirework can't bounce itself. Or it's buddy. Alright. Oh, you're not going to pay for it. You can have the Lanowars pay for themselves. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They can just tap to pay. And then you have a Bayou to pay for one of your other creatures. Um. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Wirewood Symbiote. So between the ghostly prison and the tabernacle, those are the two sideboard cards. I don't have any others in this match. I had two path to exiles I thought about, but no, not, not for this match. Not when you're going this wide.
getting to go backwards is a little harder than anyone can do this, I'm pretty sure, but I'm having a harder time with this. <laughs> Alright. Um, so again, those two cards, what I took out, two ley line of the mate. The, the weakest ley line. It is uh, easily the weakest ley line in the deck. Uh, tabernacle back here. Ghostly Prison up here. This play, this deck plays almost no magic. It plays less magic than basically any other deck. No. No. There was some strat- I, I could have crop rotated, or I had two crop rotations in hand. I was trying to wait for the right time when I could like catch you with as much as you had. And I thought with Ghostly, Ghostly Prison out, I didn't have to worry about a giant crater hoof turn. Um, yeah, I'm just throwing that. So, that's why I was waiting to pull the trigger for so long. 